Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Green on My Tears coming to you on Green TV, also known as Katrina. So today I've started. I'm starting on um, doing uh, a sample of my sassy librarian blouse. So what I'm doing first is, um, as you already know, I take my pattern together, and what I'm going to do is use that uh, tamp the the um, pattern as my template. So what I'm about to do now is I'm, I already did the back, so I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing as far as the um, front. So what I'm going to do is I have some dot paper and I'm going to be tracing the pattern onto here and making some adjustments before I even get started. So let me show you what I'm doing. Hope you can see it. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to do a straight line because this is for the back. So what I'm doing is do, just going to do a straight line. And I'm going to give it length as well because being I'm a tall female, and I have uh, some junk in the trunk. I have booty. Um, I like my blouses to go over my butt instead of sitting on top of my butt. So I'm going to add a couple of inches to my blouse. So I'm adding like three inches in length to the blouse. And I'm not eyeballing this. I have the pattern right up under this paper. So. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So what I do is to make sure it's right is I make sure that the the line that I just draw is right on top of the um up top of the pattern. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to go across down here at the bottom and make it longer on the side seam first and then I'll do the bottom part next. So I have a I have a um ruler that has um all the breakdown of the inches on here so I'll be able to do that so do, do, do. that's what I'm doing now so now what I'm about to do is do the placement of the dart and see the dart is way up here I don't know if you can see it but there's the dart up under there so I'm gonna bring it down here to where I need it to be for me so what I'm doing because I know this is a 10 inch I mean 8 inch dart so what I'm doing is turning over my ruler and starting at the bottom of the uh, blouse and I'm going to mark my dart and this is how I'm moving it down. I don't know if this is correct or not but I know it works for me and I did get do uh, a little bit of um, I did take a couple of um, fashion I mean design classes so I kind of know a little bit about what I'm doing and what I don't know I read read from the books that I uh, got from school so what I'm doing just marking my darts and moving my dart over to make sure that I'm doing it right so this one has a dart I didn't do this one right so let me fix that and so once I get done with this what I'm going to do is go on to making my sample pattern. So, almost done with just moving the door over just a smidget. And just marking everything like it is up under here. So now what I'm about to do is just do to the um, bottom part of the, the, the blouse now. And what I'm doing is using the edge of the blouse to do the right measurement for the bottom part of it, of the blouse. Okay. Do, do, do. And I pray that everybody has a safe um, Labor Day and I know that we all labor in some way some some form and just remember to tell people that you deal with you know at the grocery store or going to get some food thank you for doing what they do because they don't have to be doing it and I mean I'm pretty sure none of us have to be doing what we're doing but we do it because we need to take care of our families but it is what it is so yes so I'm almost done with doing, giving the length that I need to my blouse at the bottom. I 
Okay, so I'm done with doing the length part of my blouse. So now I'm about to move over to doing the side seam. So all I'm going to do is be tracing all of this over here. I'm just going to be tracing all of this and making sure everything is in line. So that's what I'm doing now. Just tracing it and so from this pattern I'll be able to make any adjustments with this with the um, muslin fabric and remember I told you I'm going to make a sample first before I actually do the fabric that I showed you showed you that I was going to be using and it saves a lot of it's a little time consuming to do this but at the same time it's worth it because you don't have if you mess up you're messing up on the muslin you're not messing up on the fabric that you've um, paid a lot of money for. I find that a lot of people do that and um, which is not a good thing because sometimes the fabric you pay for sometimes is maybe five to ten dollars a yard and to waste that is like oh my god not cool at all. So I tell everybody that um, I know that sews or they want to sew that that's one of the main things you want to do when you're sewing is to make a sample pattern. Make a sample that way you can out of muslin, which is just some plain, simple fabric, and it doesn't cost that much a yard. It used to be a dollar ninety nine a yard for thirty six inches, but now it's like two ninety nine for thirty six inches. So this is what muslin looks like. So this is what I'm going to be making my sample pattern out of, and this is actually the sample that I made for the um, blouse that I made the other day. To, you guys can see that one, but yeah. So, uh, almost done with transferring this pattern onto dot paper. And dot paper is what they use in the industry to make patterns. And you can, in this, you can, it's transparent where you can see up under it. So that's why I'm able to trace my pattern. So now I'm tracing the shoulder for the front and now I'm about to do, I'm almost done with this. So now I'm done. So I just want to come and show you that part of what I'm going to be doing today and I'm just making a, getting a sample on to um, this dot paper so I can make my real my real blouse so when I come back um, you'll see that the sample of made in muslin okay I see you in just so a back. moment so what I did is I made um, I cut out the sample pa the sample pattern the, excuse me the pattern and then I cut out the sample fabric from the muslin that I showed you previously so I'm so glad I did because had I not did that I would have late, wasted a lot of fabric and would have been very, very upset. So, being that I did use make my sample pattern, my sample, my sample, um, and what the alteration that I had to make, I didn't have to fix any of the, the armhole or anything, and I only did the, the front and the back, so just the bodice. So, what I did is I had to do, this was too short right here in the front. This right here in the front was too short. I mean, excuse me, not too short. It didn't come around my hip part. So what I had to do is I had to use the slash method to pull some fullness at the bottom of my blouse. So I'm going to show you that on the pattern. So this is what I did. I slashed it from up under the, um, the arm and spread it, spread, and then just put some fabric, excuse me, put some paper at the bottom put some paper right behind it so I could be able to put my new um, seam line for my um, blouse. So I would finish cutting out the pattern. So um, I cut out all my pattern pieces and fused all my pattern pieces. And also um, with this pattern, I'm going to have to do my own placement of buttons. So I haven't decided on what kind of buttons I want to do. So when I get to that, I will show you guys that part. So God willing, tomorrow I should be done with putting the whole blouse together and yeah so I'm gonna sew it tonight um and yeah I'm gonna sew it tonight 
So um, I pray that everybody had a blessed day today. Know that God loves you and be encouraged. And do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and look forward to my next video. Good night.